Hi, this is Stella from Chasing Waters. I'm back at it again. Lately, I've been really enjoying making this salad for two reasons. It's August in Barcelona, which means it's really hot, and I don't want to be cooking anything hot. And secondly, because it's absolutely delicious. I don't really have a plan on becoming a YouTube chef, but I thought I would share the process with you as this is one of my self-care rituals. To nourish myself with food that I know is good for me. It honestly makes me so happy when I eat a super delicious meal. I feel like I'm really taking care of myself from the inside out. Practicing art is also an act of self-love for me. Connecting to my creativity and feeling more disciplined in my practice. Discipline and consistency is one of the greatest gifts that we can give ourselves, I think. Obviously, we don't want to go overboard, but really being consistent to yourself and showing up for yourself in the present moment really helps your future self. I'm preparing for a new collection that I have in mind for an exhibition I'm having. Sometimes it can be a bit daunting to start something you have in mind completely from scratch because you have a fear that it won't become what you imagine it to be. Lately I have been struggling with creating more art together with the videos and everything else. I feel like I'm creating not necessarily out of creativity but necessity. And to a degree, I felt like creating videos helped my creativity in a way that it was pushing me to create. But lately, I've been feeling that I'm more stuck on what the next video is going to be about rather than actually creating. Then I'm not creating. And then when I'm not creating, I don't really have anything to show for in the video. So it just creates this endless circle. And I don't have the time to linger in the space of nothingness, where creativity just comes to me and hits me. Rather, it feels like something I'm chasing after. And at this point, I feel like it's further along than I am. That it's not quite possible for me to regain the momentum. And for me as well, I'm not as excited about the videos as I once were, which is probably maybe a bit visible in some way. Also, it makes the pressure of creating even bigger. For any creative, I think we all have a small nervous feeling before we start a project or even continuing a project. I think they call it the blank paper syndrome. Probably not syndrome, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever that's called is real. And it becomes even more daunting when you're setting up a camera with the intention of showing the world later that whatever you create in your room by yourself will be seen by a whole bunch of people and that you are constantly having to not only think about the composition, colors, ideas of your projects but also about the camera angles, lighting, battery time and memory card storage. It's all a bit too much. And I've come to the point where I feel like I want to have a more intentional approach when it comes to exactly what I want to share. That I don't need to share everything. And that's completely okay. That's fine. But to have the choice, 
I need space to actually think and reflect and time to create something that I really haven't had too much time to do. I really admire people who can manage to post a video every week, sometimes while they're having a full-time job on the side. It's actually quite impressive, but that's something I've learned that that's not me. And even a video every two weeks is a bit much at the moment. So I'm going to try to create a video a month and see how that goes. And that way they'll probably be a bit longer, but we'll see. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any suggestions or feedback, let me know below. And I hope to see you in the next one.